chair and uh, to settle in, to notice what's happening in your body. Notice your feet planted in the ground, in the earth beneath you, allowing gravity to pull your thighs down into the chair, giving you support. Noticing the place where your back is being supported by the back of the chair and noticing how you've chosen to rest your arms, either in your lap or on the arms of a chair. And just allow yourself to be present to whatever sensations arising and falling in your body, in your, in your awareness. You might notice sensations of coolness or warmth in the extremities, in your toes, in your fingers. You might notice a tingling sensation of energy shimmering on the surface of the skin or in a particular place in your body. Allow yourself to just notice simple sound, whether it's the ticking of a clock or the sound of a bird or traffic or the humming or whirring of a machine in your house. Just perceiving, no need to search, no need to stretch, just perceive. Paying particular attention now to the breath in the body, finding the place in the body where it's simplest just to be with the rising and falling of breath in your body. For many people that's in the, in the belly, in the abdomen. So check that out for a few breaths. Just noticing what it feels like to be with the rising and falling of breath in the belly. Some people find it simple to be with the breath in the chest, the expansion and contraction of the chest. So check that out for the next few breaths. It's interesting sometimes to be with the breath simply in the back of the throat. Feeling air in the back of the throat on an in-breath and an out-breath. So I invite you to check that out for a few breaths. Many people like to focus their attention on the breath just at the tip of the nose, noticing cooler air fill the nostrils, tickling your hairs on the in-breath, filling the head cavity, 
warmer air flowing out on an out breath. Experiment with that for the next few breaths, just being with the breath at the tip of the nose. She said the lungs should have the word Brandeis in it. You might even become aware of the simple sensation of well-being that accompanies attention to the breath, to the simplicity of an in-breath and an out-breath. This miracle of simply being alive. Of the breath filling our bodies without us having to try. As the rabbis teach us, kol nishima nishima, every breath, every time our breath seeks to leave the body, somehow merit miraculously. The Holy One, blessed be he, fills us back with an in-breath, keeping us in life again, creating us new all over again from moment to moment. This miracle of just being alive right now I am alive. 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 And this alive, yes, this aliveness that I am, this alive, yes, this aliveness that I am, this alive, yes, this aliveness that I am, is it not blessed Holy One? I did a nine and a nine and I am alive. I did a nine and a nine and I am alive. I did a nine and a nine and I am alive. I did a nine and a nine and I am alive. I did a nine and a nine and I am alive. I did a nine and a nine and I I am alive, I'm alive. And this alive, yes, this aliveness that I am, this alive, yes, this aliveness that I am, this alive, yes, this aliveness that I am, is it not the blessed Holy One? I don't have to be here. I am alive. 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 
Agnes alive, yes, this alive, miss that I am. This alive, yes, this alive, miss that I am. This alive, yes, this alive, miss that I am. Is it not the blessed Holy One? I did a night and a night and a night. I am alive. I did a night and a night and a night. I am alive. I did a night, did a night, did a night. I am alive. I love life. I'm using the Red Sea Door Seam Shalom for weekdays this morning. So if you happen to have a copy, you can follow along. But if you don't, it's really just fine. Just go with the flow of what we're doing. That's also just fine. And if I could just remind everybody to mute, otherwise you're going to appear as the person on the prime screen. So please mute. And I'd also like to welcome my FJMC friends around the country. Uh, thank you for joining us. So I'm on the top of page four in the English. Praise are you, Adonai, our God, who rules the universe, fashioning the human body in wisdom, creating openings, arteries, glands, and organs, Marvelous in structure, intricate in design. Should but one of them fail to function by being blocked or open, it would be impossible to survive and to serve you. Praise are you, Adonai, healer of all flesh, sustaining our bodies in wondrous ways. On page four in the middle of the page. Hello, hi, Nishama, Shinatata, Tiro. Rahi, Elohai, Nishama, Shinata, Tabi, Teo, Rahi, Elohai, Nishama, Shinata, Tabi, Teo, Rahi, Elohai, Nishama, Shinata, Tabi, Teo, Rahi. Hello, <laughs> Rahi, Ella Haini Shama Shinata Tabi Teho Rahi, Ella Haini Shama Shinata Tabi Teho Rahi, I want to share with you a prayer uh, that my friend Alan Cole sent me this morning. And I just was so touched by it. And uh, I want you to have this as well. It's a prayer for a pandemic by someone named Cameron Wiggins Bellman. May we who are merely inconvenienced remember those whose lives are at stake. May we who have no risk factors remember those most vulnerable. May we who have the luxury of working from home remember those who must choose between preserving their health or making their rent. May we who have the flexibility to care for our children when their schools close remember those that have no options. May we who have to cancel our trips remember those who have no safe place to go. May we who are losing our margin money in the tumult of the economic market, remember those who have no margin at all. 
May we who settle in for a quarantine at home remember those who have no home. As fear grips our country, let us choose love during this time when we cannot physically wrap our arms around each other. Let us find ways to be the loving embrace of God to our neighbor. Turning ahead to page, uh, let me see, page 14, page 14. And we'll dive in either in the English or the Hebrew, a Psalm of David, Psalm 30. He's more shirchan of hatabai for David. I extol you, Adonai, for you raised me up. You did not permit foes to rejoice over me. Adonai, I cried out, and you healed me. You saved me from the pit of death. Sing to Adonai, you faithful, acclaim God's holiness, for God's anger lasts a moment. Divine love is lifelong. Tears may linger for a night. Joy comes with the dawn. While at ease, I once thought nothing can shake my security. Favor me, and I'm a mountain of strength. Hide your face, Adonai, and I am terrified. To you, Adonai, would I call. Before the eternal would I plead. What profit is there if I am silenced? What benefit if I go to my grave? Will the dust praise you? Will it proclaim your faithfulness? Hear me, Adonai, be gracious. Be my help. In the Hebrew opposite, Elecha, Adonai, Ekram, the El Adonai, such that only one person can speak on Zoom and be heard at a time. But I might encourage you to try to sing where you are. Uh, I've done this uh, as part of an IJS class, and um, you might find it enriching to, even though you're singing alone, try to sing along with us. As a matter of fact, you might even make it a practice to, as you're singing, 
to look at the voices of the other people uh, in our group who you can all see on Zoom and um, take pleasure in sharing your moving mouth with their moving mouth. Uh, and in that way, we can all feel as if we are singing together, which is, you know, this, our goal is not to, to perform a service, but to help facilitate a service for all of us. So thank you for that reminder. Thank you, David. I'm going to turn to page 16, and I'm going to invite all of us to stand uh, as we continue with the verses of Baruch Sha'amar, the verses that remind us that God speaks and creates through words. And we also, we repay that kindness and deep gratitude by speaking words that speak of creation. Baruch Shamar Everyone dance where you are in place. Baharuch Your feet and your body. Baharuch Baruch Shemao, Baruch Hu. You keep that part. Baruch Shemao, Baruch Sheamar, Baruch of the chant in your body, just noticing what's different, what's awakened, what's more alive. Just being with that. Breathing into whatever is shimmering in you. Breathing into wherever you feel the awakened sense of energy. Baruch Hu, Baruch Shema. Blessed be the Holy One. So I'm gonna invite you to sit and we'll turn to page 21. We're going to begin ashray together and is our practice many times in this minion we'll start ashray together with a chant the first verse and then afterwards i'm going to invite you to just scan the verses either in english or in hebrew and find the verse that's just really speaking to you the one that oh, is just touching your heart just opening that space in your heart just a little bit more and bring that particular pasuk from ashray into speech bring it alive into the world either in English or in Hebrew, it doesn't matter. And I think for that, we're going to, uh, un I'll invite you to unmute so we can hear all of the beautiful verses in Hebrew or in English with a melody, without a melody, however you want to say it. Uh, and then after we hear that and then bring our, 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 our own pasuk into speech, we'll conclude together with the final verse of Ashri. So we'll start unmuted, excuse me, we'll start muted. And then 
after the first verse, I invite you to unmute and just share the verse that's speaking to you today. yourself, scan the verses, find the verse, bring the verse into speech. Then I support stumble. Then I support stumble and Hallelujah. <laughs> And let's sing together the last verse on page 22. Notice what's new now. Notice whatever shifted, where, where the energy is live for you in this moment. What did Ashray awaken in you? Breathe into wherever that energy is in your body. which brings us to Psalm 150, the 
last book, the last psalm of the book of Psalms, the one that brings us back to the kol ha-nishama, kol nishima ve-nishima, every breath, every breath that supports this nishama, every nishima that supports this nishama, and everything we have at our disposal to, to make sound, to clap, to stamp, to sing, it's all a praise of God. I think what we'll do is we'll start muted, but when we get to the, um, the final kol ha-nishama, I'm going to invite everyone to unmute and just allow that cacophony of praise to be whatever it may be. So first, sing your hearts out on mute, and then at the end, let's see what that feels like to hear it all together, even without any rhythm. <laughs> hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Just feeling the hallelujah in your body. Just find the space that feels most alive, most filled with energy. Breathe into those places. Kol nishima v'nishima, every breath, every single breath that supports this nishama, this soul from moment to moment. A wonder and a praise. Which brings us to the song, the 
the end of the Psuche de Zimra is actually a long song. It's the song that we sang by the shores of the Red Sea. The rabbis in their brilliance said, we shouldn't just sing this song on the seventh day of Passover or when it appears in Parshat B'Shalach every year in the Torah reading, but we should actually sing this song every single morning, every morning to remind ourselves that there is not one moment, but every moment is potentially a crossing. Like our ancestors had to leave Egypt, the narrow place, we so often find ourselves in a narrow place. The whole world is feeling right now like we are in a narrow place. But just as our ancestors knew they couldn't stay in that place, they needed to move forward, even though it was frightening, even though they weren't, didn't know it was on the other side. We also know that standing still is just not an option. Just sitting in our fear is never an option. Moving forward with curiosity, with openness to what will be, what will be, that's always the way. That's the message of the song. And just like our ancestors crossed as an entire people, they didn't have to do it alone. So we too, we make that crossing all the time, both individually, but also surrounded by people who love us, who care for us, and who have their own narrow places from which they too need to move forward. So I invite you, first we'll mute, and then we'll unmute, but first we'll start muted, and we'll sing a little bit of that song, the third line down of the song, in the middle of the line. And the words are, Ozi v'zimratya, God is my strength and my song, v'yehili l'shua, and God will be my deliverance. Shepha Gold teaches us that if we take both of these, as uh, these aspects, Ozi, God is my strength, I have a power that comes from God, but also the Zimrat Yah. God is my song, I can lead forward without pushing, lean forward into what is unfolding without having to push. If I can take both of those qualities of strength to be a warrior and to just flow with the song where it leads me. If I can take both of those together, then by Yehili Lishiwa, then God will be my salvation. So see if you can characterize both the Ozi and the Simratya as we sing individually, but in some way all together. And then we'll join together a little bit later. Ozi. The Zimradia, Oh, 
Again, just notice, just notice what's happening in the body. What's alive for you now? What's opened up? The final blessing of all of these prayers of, uh, of song, all of these selections of song, the final blessing of the Sukkot Zimra is Yishtabach. Uh, in the red book, if you're following along in that book, it's on page 29. Feel free to join in with us. Yishtabach shimcha la'ad l'alkeinu Ha'el ha'melech ha'gadol v'ha'gadosh v'shemayim u'maretz Yilech anay Adonai Elohim v'elohi avoteinu Shir u'shvacham ha'lel v'simra Ozen v'shalad nesa k'dul al-gura Tila v'tiferet k'dul shalmachu Rachot v'odot v'yatav y'rolam Baruch atah l'unai El melech v'adol v'tishvachot El odot v'adon anivlaot Avoher v'shirei zimra Melech el v'haolai Paying attention to the standing position that we're in. Noticing the feet touching the floor, grounding into the floor. Grateful most of us to be able to balance so effortlessly between our left leg and our right leg. Noticing the muscles in our calves, behind our knees, in our thighs, behind our thighs, our waist, notice our backbone, gently curved, keeping us tall and straight, Notice our arms by our sides, feeling the muscles in the upper arms, the lower arms, the fingers. Paying attention to the muscles of the neck. Lifting our shoulders up towards our ears, all the way up as far as we can, rolling them back all the way back and down, which allows our neck to lift just a little higher. Our head floating upward as if being pulled by an invisible string. In yoga, they call this the mountain pose, but we like to call it the lula pose. And the difference is that a mountain doesn't bend, but a lulav can sway in every direction to give gratitude. And so we use this body to bow in a gesture of deep gratitude as we continue with the barahu, which 
leads us into the blessing of creation, which then leads us into the blessing of revelation, which then leads us into the Shema. So paying attention to the muscles behind our knees, to the muscles in our waist, gently bowing in a gesture for ourselves just as far over as our body cares to go in this particular moment. Baruchu et Adonai Baruch Adonai Baruch Leolam Baruch Adonai Baruch Leolam Baruch Adonai Elohim Melech Olam Yotzer Or Berech Oshech Oseh Shalom Uvorei Et Hagol You can be seated on the Ir La'aret the Ladur in the Lord HaChamim Ruch Juhu Mechadish Bechol Yom Tamid Maseh Bereshit Ma Rabu Maseh Adonai Kulam Bechok Masita the good light God created reflects his splendor, radiant light surround God's throne. Shasita Yifarucha Sela, Ibarak Tsurena Makin, Olena Berek Yoshim, Mishtabashim Hala Admakinu Yotin Misharatim, Ashim Misharatav, Kulam Omdim Bum Olam, Umash Mini Vira Yahad, the Gobi Bray Elohim Chaim Melech Olam, Kulam Mahuvim, Kulam Berubim, Kulam Giburim, the Kulam Osim Beema, Vira Ritzon Konam. Melochalaresquebodel. <laughs> God in his goodness renews creation day after day. Deep is your love for us, Adonai, our God. Boundless your tender compassion. Nothing but can you tell our ancestors life giving laws. They trusted in you for their sake and graciously teach us. Our maker, merciful provider, show us mercy. Grant us understanding and discernment. Then will we study your Torah, heed its words, teach its precepts, and follow its instructions, lovingly fulfilling all its teachings. Shame, 
Please unmute. Baruch Adonai, Abba Kerbi Mo Yisrael, Bia Abba. Say the Shema together on each word on an elongated out breath. Shema. to hear in the silence. Ani, 
I'm going to invite you to stand as we turn to the next page, concluding this blessing of Geula, redemption, together, and then going into a few minutes of quiet Amida prayer. I invite you to set an intention before we go into the Amida. Set an intention to pray the Amidah this morning differently than you prayed it last time. It could be that normally you focus on every single word. This time, don't. It could be that this time, that usually you only focus on the Hebrew. This time, focus on the English. It could be that this that sometimes you never look at the words. You only just look inward. Make this a time that you look at words instead of looking inward, or vice versa. Try making this, set an intention to pray this intentionally differently than you did the last time, whether you've been your default approach to the Amidah. But first, the blessing on page 35. <laughs> No rati la to say fele. She rasha the shashi could do lean the shift pass what I am. Yaha kulam ho do be him the hoo be a roo. I do not in love will not buy it. Israel, who love is rat Israel. Who take you to be a you dad Israel. Who are the no donuts watch him out kiddo, Israel. Baruch Adonai,
Together with Alenu, which is in the, the book I'm using on page 83. service with uh, Mourner's Kaddish. First, a brief prayer for healing. Eloheinu Velohevotenu, O God of all life and all breath, grant life to those who are your creatures. Help those who are uh, in distress to overcome this illness, which has become so prevalent in our world in this moment. Help their caretakers, their loved ones who are taking care of them and uh, the doctors and the nurses who every moment put themselves in harm's way to take care of the rest of us. May we help each other by maintaining a proper distance, even though in truth, what we really want to do is to reach out and touch one another. And may we find ways to reach out and touch one another and to heal each other uh, in those ways that are available to us in these very strange times. And may healing to all of Israel and all of the world. Come soon and let us say amen. Amen. For those who are mourning or observing the art site, please uh, stand and you might want to unmute yourselves and lead us in the mourner's Kaddish. Amen. <laughs> 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 
So our intent is to um, host a recording of the service on the SJMC Federation of Jewish Men's Love Mindfulness Service uh, webpage which has a uh, complete instruction manual written by Rabbi Levon on how to lead this service, as well as links to all of the chants and tunes and uh, meditations. And uh, we'll add this to that page so that it, if you in your synagogue want to uh, uh, involve your clergy in uh, bringing some of this to your synagogue, even if it's just one piece at a time to spend a few minutes of focusing on one thing rather than trying to get lots all in all together. Um, you have the tools to do that, and we're here to help you. Thank you, David, for everything, for uh, um, the technological expertise that made it possible to share the service with everybody this morning. Huh. And uh, for your dogged determination to help spread this um, through the uh, Federation of Jewish Men's Club community. Uh, hope everyone has a wonderful day. Um, and tune in right now for the congregational meeting, which I uh, should have just started, so I better get my <laughs>